when you think about LeBron, though, LeBron's had a lot to say. He had his, you know, his comment, Oakley for president, sure. I believe he said to the media last night. You think LeBron's just piling on just a little bit well, to, of course. to stick it to Phil in the Knicks? Maybe. I mean, obviously, LeBron was very upset with the posse comment that Phil Jackson made earlier this season. You know, LeBron, at one point, they were trying to woo him to come to New York when he was making his infamous decision. They missed out on him, so maybe there's a little bit of sour grapes there between the two organizations. Uh, perhaps maybe LeBron is piling on, although I think LeBron genuinely, you know, watched Charles Oakley, I think, as a child. I think there's really not a player like Charles Oakley now in today's NBA. Maybe Draymond Green, but because the rules are the way they are, you're not getting that kind of physicality in the way that Charles Oakley used to bring it. He was intimidating, and I think, yeah. you know, players look to him as this sort of throwback, and by all accounts, I mean, he seemed like he was a really good teammate, and guys still obviously respect him. And let's face it, players are a close fraternity. Sure. They see one of their own, whether he's retired or not, get treated like that in, in a, a sad scene where Oakley's on the ground being roughed up by security they're going to come to the side of the player in that situation. You know, one thing I was a little surprised though watching TNT last night and you had Charles and you had Kenny and Shaq, none of them really came out in favor of Oakley. I mean, they they didn't go out of their way like LeBron did, like CP3 has done on Instagram, Dwayne Wade. I was a little shocked by that. They were took a more measured approach saying this was ugly on all sides. Right. For the NBA, it was ugly. But no one said, like LeBron did or like Wade did, this is an outrage. How could you treat a former player like you this? You know what? I think, it's, I think there's two issues here. It's, it's what happened before security came over and what happened after. What happened afterwards, I don't think anyone's supporting the physical nature of how this thing turned with no. Charles Oakley. Beforehand, I don't see a ton of support for Charles Oakley from players and even, even some fans, you know, Charles Oakley put himself in that situation. I've heard the interviews. I'm not buying the fact that he didn't know where he was sitting. Getting a ticket who he says he bought it with his own money. I, I guess a friend bought the tickets for them. They didn't know that that was four rows from Jim Dolan. I am not buying that. He knows where Dolan likes to sit. I knew Nolan moves around a little bit. He's not at every home game either. Sometimes sometimes at a box. But he knows an area where Jim Dolan might be and where his voice could be heard, I think that's too big of a coincidence. I think he knew what he was doing.